new developments tonight when it comes to the case of Taylor Pomaski. She's been missing for nearly two months. She vanished after a party was thrown at her home in spring. Taylor's boyfriend was arrested just over a week ago, accused of violating bond conditions. And now Kevin Ware Jr., the former NFL player, is mentioned as a suspect in Taylor's disappearance in court records. Our Michael Laparty is live now with the new information. So Michael, what is Ware's attorney saying tonight? Chris Ware's defense attorney says that this was all news to him when he read it for the first time in that court document. Tonight, a new development in the legal case of former NFL player Kevin Ware. In a court filing, a Montgomery County prosecutor wrote that Ware is a suspect in a murder investigation relating to the disappearance of his girlfriend, Taylor Pomaski. That's the first time we've seen that. That filing is the first time uh, that it's been suggested that he is a suspect. Kobe DeBose is one of Ware's defense attorneys. He's been cooperative. He's you know, he's told the police everything that he knows, um, and he's, he's led them through his house. He's let them in his home. And that's that's really all we're going to say about that. The Harris County Sheriff's Office says Pomaski was last seen in April. Ware was arrested earlier this month, accused of violating bond conditions on previous controlled substance and firearm charges. The assistant DA's comments about Ware being a suspect connected to Pomaski were included in a motion asking that Ware's bail be increased or denied. Despite the court document, a spokesman for the Sheriff's Office would only say that Ware is one of several people that investigators are questioning who interacted with Pomaski before she disappeared. Appeared. When we followed up with the Montgomery County DA's office, a spokesman said he had no comment. Did Mr. Ware have anything to do with Taylor Pomaski's disappearance? <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that. I, I certainly, I don't think so. Um, you know, we we don't we don't know any facts that suggest that. The court records show the defense attorney is now requesting copies of reports, statements, and other materials connected to the Pamaski investigation. The bond hearing uh, for the other case, that is scheduled for next Tuesday. Reporting live in Conroe, Michael Loparty, KPRC 2 News.